Hi there, it's Sean Mosh. Two years ago, I made these two French images by uploading PNG files to Cricut Design Space. I did not convert them to SVGs before I started because I wanted to show you it is possible to use a PNG and turn it into a multi-layered design. I want to preface this whole project by saying I do not pay for Cricut Access, the membership. I do everything I do for free in Cricut Design Space. So if you want to learn how to do all of the things without paying Cricut a monthly fee, you need to be following me. So when I did the original video two years ago, the upload process was different. Now Cricut has a new option and kind of makes it look like to do this, you need to pay for Cricut Access, but you don't. I'm telling you all of this because in my video from two years ago, I just recently got a comment saying, oh, you should let somebody know that they need Cricut Access to do this. No, you don't. So these are the original ones I did before. Let's put those over here. I have a few different images here. And I did that because it's really about the quality of the image. If the image is grainy or pixelated or has a watermark over it, this process isn't going to work as well as it used to with the old upload process. So I like to save a few different variations of images so that I can play around and see which works best. But you can see they're all PNGs or JPEGs. None of these are SVG files. I'm going to click on upload. Then I'm going to click upload image. And I'm going to browse to where I save some PNG and JPEG files. You can see the end of it says PNG. So these are not SVG files. They are PNG and this one's a JPEG. That means they're just a flat graphic. So how do I turn that into something I can cut? Let's start with this guy. I'm going to click continue. I'm going to use the magic wand that says select and then select all the white. I'm also going to select the yellow and you can see it does leave some of the yellow behind. So let's try to modify it to two colors. It's a little bit better. So Cricut has made this process a little bit more difficult. It's picking up the really fine watermark kind of features. So let me go back. Okay. I'm going to tell it to just look for two colors. That's a little bit better actually. And if, now if I click select, I can get, see it's picking up that watermark. So that's, the watermark is there because people are trying to make sure you don't steal their image. So this might not be the best image for us to use. So it might take some more work to get the final outcome because you have to look for a better image. Okay, so let's try the next one over. Select the magic wand, which is right here, the first button. Now I'm going to click on all the white spaces, both inside and outside of the Grinch. And when you click on those, it becomes a checkerboard. The checkerboard just means that it is transparent. It's like, it's like a window. You can see through that space now. I can click the preview to see if there's anything I missed. Yes, it's a very grainy image. That is because Design Space has made it a lot more difficult to do this, actually. My theory is they're trying to make it more difficult so that we're not uploading copyright or trademarked images. The hardest part is going to be finding an image that's high quality and not all pixelated. I'm going to click upload. 
and then I am going to pick this design and continue. I'm going to use the select tool, which is also called the magic wand, and just click on the white areas first, then the red, and then the green. And you can see it's removing the color and making those areas transparent. If I do a preview, I can see where the color is still there. So I gotta go clean up the eyes more. So there's some white still in there. Now it is leaving a little bit of a green outline. And that's just where the colors were kind of bleeding together. But I can continue to click on things and get rid of that too. I do feel like Cricut is making it harder and harder to just upload our own images, which is kind of forcing people to have to learn to make SVG files. Let's zoom back out. That doesn't look all that bad. All right, I'm going to use apply and continue. Now, this is where people get confused. They think to make a multi-layered design, they have to pick this, which forces you to use Cricut Access. I'm going to click on single layer and continue. And now I click upload. That came in big, so let's make it a little smaller. I'm gonna go back and grab my original that I did two years ago, just so you can see they're pretty much the same. So how do I get all the colors in there? I am just going to duplicate. This is gonna be my white layer, so I'm gonna just change it now. I'll duplicate again. This will be my red layer. And I'll duplicate again. And this will be my green layer. Now I select everything, align, and center. Now is where the magic happens. I'm going to click on the green one and use contour. I'm going to use contour to turn on and off different sections as I need them. So if you watch over here, when I click this first one, see how it turned off the outline, but made the insides all green. So now I can click inside the pieces that I'm like, I don't want those green. I want his face green. Don't want that green. Um, I think that's everything. Then let's click on the red one and contour. Click on this and now we can turn these off. Um, those can go away. It really should just be the hat. Okay. Now let's do the weight and contour. And all we need left on are the fuzzy parts and the inside of his eyes. You can also click from over here as long as you can figure out which piece it is. There you go. I made a layered Grinch. I do like to take the background piece, which is the black, and let's use contour and hide all contours. That makes it a solid shape. So there you go. You can still make a layered image without using Cricut Access. All right, I did some searching to try to find some more images. Again, it's about how 
high of a quality image you find. I'm going to try this one. That one's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to use the select tool and get rid of the background and then the inner pieces and I can use my eraser to get rid of this part. Go back to select to get rid of these. So not every image on the internet is going to work. You have to look for the high quality images. Again, pick single layer. Now we can resize this down. Let's move these guys back over here because these are the ones I did two years ago. Okay, so that's a really good image. I would do the same thing I did over here of duplicate it, stack them on top of each other and use contour. I hope that this video showed you, you can still make layered images in Cricut Design Space by uploading a flat graphic of a PNG or JPEG file. It's all about finding a high quality image. Now remember, I do everything I do without paying for Cricut access. So if you want to learn how to use Design Space without paying the money every month, make sure to follow me. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.